Every year, one in five Americans will experience some form of mental health illness. And while the need for help is clear, many don't seek therapy either due to cost or maybe even just stigma. As a result, AI chatbots have jumped into the mix, offering to become a substitute friend to thousands of people or option for those people. But can a bot do the job of a real therapist? We spoke with a leading AI expert to lead us through the wild west of AI chatbots. San Francisco-based psychologist Emily Ann Halt has seen firsthand the effects of the country's mental health crisis. The rates of things like anxiety and depression and burnout have skyrocketed. There are not enough trained and licensed therapists out there to meet all of the people who want to get support. It doesn't surprise me that all these mental health apps are popping up. Ann Holt is referring to the new breed of wellness apps, such as Wobot, Replica, and EarKick, that offer support through an AI chatbot. Treatments range from cognitive behavioral exercises to companion bots that engage with users, all for a fraction of what it costs to see an actual therapist. We just want to make sure that we're not doing it in a way that actually causes more harm than good. Leading worldwide expert and UC Berkeley bioethics professor Jody Halburn is concerned about the Wild West aspects of apps, which have no oversight. Last year, the co-founder of Coco revealed the platform provided AI responses to thousands who thought they were speaking with a human. It's not that I'm against in any way AI developing, but I think we need to think about regulation and doing it safely. Halburn is leading the charge to make sure that chatbot apps offering mental health services become regulated by the FDA. She is concerned about the limitations to AI therapy. If you say that you have any suicidal thoughts or feelings, the, the, the bots just say, I can't help you with that, dial 911. Headlines were made last year when a man in Belgium using the app Chai committed suicide after being encouraged to do so by a rogue bot. I have a lot of concerns about this wave of AI therapy. Technology is a good thing, but everything needs to be used in a way that cares about people. I think we need more enlightened uses. Now, most AI therapy chatbots offer a free version, also a subscription model with unlimited usage. That'll run you about $100 or less a year. Now, in contrast, if you want to talk with someone in person, a licensed therapist, that can cost you between $100 and $200 for every session. Dr. Halburn does recognize that AI therapy is not going away anytime soon. She says it is best, though, to use AI as a tool for cognitive behavior exercises. They'll teach you some ways to cope while continuing to still see a real live therapist. You might just be able to see them a little bit less, but balance that so you make sure you get what you need.